Hello, bearable traders. Hope everybody traded well this morning. There was a request in the chat to do an if this do that order. Uh, one cancels the other. It's an order you would use, I think, very rarely, you know, for specific scenarios, and you got to be careful with it. But I figured I'd show how to do it in case people want to know. So for this particular user, they wanted to do if you're this is more for the open, but we're going to pretend since it's you know noon on the East Coast. Say you had identified a range and you wanted to go long if it broke this upper bar here, this upper band here that we, we drew, and short if it broke this, but you wanted to cancel the other one out. What we'll do is you'll say, okay, this is at 21, 215.50. So first we set, let me reset this so we can start fresh. Uh, we'll just say 100 shares, put this as a stop order. It doesn't, DAS doesn't actually have if else logic so we're gonna abuse the stop order types here fill me up to 218 that's just the gap between once it triggers you know fill me up you can also use a market not have to worry about that uh it essentially if you're using a hockey that'd be like the price plus 0 0.05 that we all use on our hockeys or or ask plus 0 0.05 uh, it will be a limit and what is this? 215.50. So we'll just say 215.50. Then you'd hit, since we're this is for the long side, we'd hit buy. You'll see you have an order down here. Essentially, when it hits, I keep saying essentially, uh, when it hits the price of 215.50, it's going to put in an order to buy essentially between 215 and 217. Just fill it that amount at those prices. You're going to basically get filled probably around 215.50. That's you know how that's going to work. So now the bottom side we identified as 213.02, and these are make makeup numbers. So we'll just reset that. We want to make sure it's the same quantity. Now you don't have to. I mean maybe you're maybe you think it's got a better chance of going short, so you put more quantity. You know it's up to you. It doesn't even have to be the same stock to be honest. So we'll just set 211 as our low. This will be a stop. Limit and this bar is at 213. So 21300. Zero, zero. Then we come down here and we hit short. Now we have two orders. What you're going to do now is you're going to right click. So let's right click the, the red one, which is the short order, the bottom one. Edit trigger order. And you have this window that pops up. Go click the cancel order tab. Now here, this is this order right here. Hit that. Send cancel trigger. Go down here, edit trigger order, hit that. Now you have this order. Send cancel trigger. So what that just told you, you see TC will pop up in the type box. And you'll have over here if you have your trigger alerts window, which is trade, I think it's trigger order, you'll have this untriggered, untriggered, and you'll see that the condition is F6525 and F6535. Those are corresponding order numbers. So 35 is this order, 25 is this order, and that's what's going to happen. So if one of these fills, it's going to send, this order is going to activate and cancel out the other order. So that way, you don't have to worry about canceling it. And you could do this with a lot more if you wanted to. I don't want to make a video on that, but if you wanted to get really complex and have an inter target orders as well, or range orders, you could do that. But that's the general gist of it. I don't think we're going to sit around and wait for this to actually trigger. But what would happen if this was, you know, actually moving? Because it's midday, it's, you know, it's lunchtime in Wall Street, so they're, they're all off in the powder room. And when that moved up here, this would fire. I don't know. This would fire right here, filling that. You'd then have an open order for a long position of 100 at this price or around this price, whatever you got filled at. And this order would come off the books. That would be taken out. So it would no longer be there. Same thing, but in reverse for this side. Hopefully that's a quick video. You know, kept it under five minutes here for once. I hope that explained it. If you need more details, just explain what you need and I'll, I'll do a supplemental video or whatever. And I'll po post this in the forum so I can help. Uh, good luck if you're gonna use it. Uh, I, I always use it in Sim when you play with it. Make sure it's working, make sure you got it down. I don't know exactly what you'd use this for. I, you know, I guess you could, 
set your range, but it's a different style of trading. So good luck with it. Hopefully that explained it. Bye.